the mammoth support that the home team is receiving. Well, how about I say it from the onset, this is one of the best organized uh, Cup tournaments. It has taken football back to the roots. They were in Machakos, they were in Nairobi, they went to Nakuru. They are now in the coastal region in the Aga Khan Stadium. Top goal scorer just included league, looking for a second goal. But uh, it is uh, Iranzi. Iranzi just playing. So Kenya looking to pin uh, Rwanda's Amavubi in their own half uh, in four minutes gone on your World of Champions. Uh, this is the Go TV Sakafa Senior Challenge Cup match being played at the Aga Khan Stadium in Mombasa. The throw by Wafula. The Rwanda's by Singe just clearing, but Peter Pio collects. It's back to James Ituma. Kahata's header looking for Wafula, but Kelly not in the right position. And, and it will take the energy and the composure of the Kenyan players to be able to try and uh, complement that physicality. Iranzi looking for more men, but uh, passed late match fitness test to earn his place in the starting. Yonzima plays it to Mohamed. Mohamed, an inclusion in that midfield. Looking to bring some freshness into the Rwandan side, but stolen by Noah Fula. On Ismail Nshutia Magara back to the bench so it shows you clearly that they can come in with a different uh, strategy i think uh the coach is trying uh different players bringing in freshness but it is a appeal ball that uh, not able to be controlled by james Tuma. bit of a lapse there for kenya but uh, 11 minutes played on your world of champions well clearly both teams are playing a, a 4 3 3 formation of course uh, with the Rwanda playing uh, the triangle looking up. Of course, Aruna Nyonzima playing right behind uh, Michael Dahinduka. And then he has two defensive midfielders, that's Mushimai, Mushiriyama and Jean Baptista Mugraneza. On the left-hand side, they have uh, Jean Claude Ranzi. On the right, Medi Kagere. And the stoppers, James and Emery. Of course, Jean look in the goal. Uh, it is a free kick lined up uh, towards the Kenyan goal. Bit of discussion between... Uh, Ion Zima and uh, Atudo, they do know each other from the Tanzanian League. Peter Pio just being pushed off, but James Tutoma just being pushed off by the Hinduka. Oh, I'm asking why doesn't the Hinduka get a card? Because he's been doing a lot of nonsense on the field. Well, it's going to be a lot of tackle. Look at him, uh, look at his muscles. The guy is fit, he's strong, he's closer to the ground, and he has in a tussle with each and every. Rwanda and Rwanda respecting uh, uh, Kenya, but uh, the battle in the midfield, we say whoever takes charge of the midfield uh, certainly will have the upper hand in this game. Set top box to be part of, uh, to be able to receive the digital signal so that you can watch your favorite movies, sports, and news. And uh, the, the set-top box that uh, we do have is the goatee. <laughs> well, it is uh, James Tituma with the throw. As Adela Bruce just behind him uh, issues instructions. In a good sportsman fashion. Given to Rwanda. But now Situma looking to pile the pressure. But the header from Mohammed just cutting out Situma's pass. Atudo back to Situma. Actually, Teddy Akumu back to Situma. Looking for Alan Wanga. Alan Wanga being watched by Tibane now. And by Yisenge Emery. So Situma with the throw. And Peter Pio turns. Looking for Wanga. Wanga. Wanga plays it to the right. And Situma, can he feed? Looks to beat his man. And wins uh, Haram the Stars of Kenya, a corner. Final stages, of course, not performing very well in the last, past two matches and then beating Eritrea and just uh, getting into the quarter final stages just by a, a whisker. It shows you that they've grown with character. They have uh, learned the Kenyan way and they've neutralized the Kenyan striking force completely. And Opio plays it to James Situma. Situma, long ball. Back. This is Tuma now picked up by Anthony Akumu. Peter Opio as a jack in the Tudo. Through the 90 minutes in Kiswahili. So a very, very difficult game. Expected to be very technical as well. So the players need to get accustomed to that. But uh, looks good. Not waterlogged per se. A little bit slippery.
Elunga and Saleh was trying to look for Samata Mbwana Ale on that right side, but uh, the ball was a little bit too fast. It went out of play, but uh, Kenya again on the restart here. Including Petro Pio. Oh, well. Kahata's got to watch out for his uh, tackles. They're not really getting there. Joaquin Satudo including and leaves um, Buena Samata looking for another move uh, to try and go in uh, to the danger area with her. Uh, keeping possession at the moment. Well, just uh, a question of uh, two including every side, the right, the left, and the middle as well. 57% ball possession in the last five minutes for them. Just tells you including it in the last season. <laughs> <laughs> right up to the last game, wasn't it? Well, that's true, but that's... <laughs> It's back into the midfield then. Pedro Pio. Uh, then uh, back to uh, Anthony Akumu. Oh, that's a really nice punch ball by Joaquin Zatudo, who seems to be very sure of where he wants to take the balls every time. Good one down on the right flanker. Uh, and then a little bit of hustling by James Tuma. The assistant referee would say it's a foul, and it's going to be given including instrumental in getting around the stars to the runners-up position in last year's tournament in Kampala, Uganda. Well, thank God there is no law against using either foot shaker. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a yellow card in the very first one in this game. It goes to Jepsi Tuba for some hard tackling on that side. But it was really in the offing, wasn't it, Jacob? Especially on that right flag for around the stars. Well, uh, Samata Mbwana has been giving Situma a lot of problems on that right side and this time it was Mauricio Ngasa who has just changed some now played out to Dilunga Saleh doesn't get Mbwana Samata good ball onto the left side oh, more experience coming in from Jim Situma Kilimanjaro stars have got right side and he probably has found the correct place for him to attach himself to a national team in Tropio brings well the match officials just uh, getting on with the pre-match formalities the 41 year old teacher Thomas Anyango is our center referee assisted by Jane Gerono Caroline Kidd and fourth official Joe Ogeno they actually under some of course very humble in approach but uh, very deadly when it comes to execution well Samuel caught himself a former international he has guided Karuturi at one to a use of one of the most feisty players uh, who has placed the Premier League in recent times, but now playing a division lower. But when he gets that engine on with Wanyama, but uh, the yellow shirts just cowing this Sofapaka attack. In case you're joining us, Sofapaka are in white, and Finlay is dressed in yellow shirts and black shorts. Continental soccer. And then there's also another small matter of uh, Kenya Shillings 2 million prize money. <laughs> well, don't call it a small matter. 2 million is uh, real money indeed here. So any team winning that will go. These days, not coming as regularly as they used to. They haven't dried up, but uh, they just take their time. But it's called 6 so far. Baraza is the front line rusher. Yusuf Siroma and Abdul Rahman Yusuf running rings in that engine. Siruma is using his footing to Situma. Now Situma plays it to Casolo. Casolo, Ramadan Ali. Too far off his goal line. Onari losing possession. Situma now finds Anthony Kimani. And it will be Joseph Agole looking to start the move from the back. Plays it to Captain James Situma. Situma and Magoli sitting passes and now. Casolo, they are just lacking that killer instinct in the final third. We have the majority of the possession since the restart, but uh, the passes not just finding the men properly, especially in the strike zone part of the field. Yusuf Juma, Juma with the throw, Mulumba. Back to keeper Duncan Ochen. Thomas Wanyama. Just looks to combine once again with Anthony Kimani. 
Freddy Mulumba, Johnson Bagole, Situma Mangoli. Situma back to Cheng. One gets the feel, Jacob, that uh, the senior players of Super Falcon really, really have to step it up in this game. Well, I think uh, what you need at this moment. And uh, we shall also confirm the the other changes that may have taken place. Won the Champions League, then if you want to call it also the Italian Cup or a treble. Well, the same time by Duncan Ocean. The shot coming in from Yusuf Siruma. Ocean had to be a full stretch there to stay off this attack by Finlays. Well, the first time Dana Kanuchi came and said, hey, <laughs> that was football. And uh, Finlays do get a fourth corner against the Papakas 5. So can they draw back into this game? Can they get the equalizer to keep them in the running? Dana Kanuchi comes out. And the final clearance on back in the local competition. Whoever wins this game will meet the winner of the second game between AFC Leopards and Karuturi.
Get your toes.